Okay, today we're going to look at the difference between the frequency and wave numbers versus the frequency in hertz or seconds to the minus one. We're going to need Planck's constant, which is given here in joule second. And we're going to use as an example hydrogen fluoride. Now, the frequency and wave number I'm going to call nu bar. And for the zero to one transition of HF, in one over lambda in centimeter units, which is wave numbers. The value is 4.138.32 centimeters to the minus one. And that's the frequency in wave numbers that we get in an infrared spectrum photometer um, for the zero to one transition. Now we need the speed of light in centimeters per second. And that's given here, three times 10 to the 10 centimeters per second, three times 10 to the eight meters per second. To get the frequency in per second, the number of waves per second, that's the frequency, we need C over lambda. C in centimeters per second and lambda in centimeters. And one over lambda is C bar. So we multiply C times new bar, I should say we get this frequency. So this is the frequency of that transition in seconds to the minus one. It's the number of waves per second. This is the number of waves per centimeter. Wave numbers and frequency per, in seconds to the minus one. To get the energy to go from the zero to one state of hydrogen fluoride, the zero to one vibrational state, you take H nu, and nu would be C nu bar where C, is, again, is in centimeters per second, speed of light, and nu bar is one over lambda in centimeters. So this here would be C times nu bar would be nu, all right? So H nu, and that's the energy to go from zero to one. Okay, so I hope that that's uh, clear, the difference between nu in wave numbers, nu bar, and the frequency in seconds to the minus one. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you next time.